Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Thank y'all so much. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Well, this video, I'm going to show you, um, as you see, you see two different sliders here, but this video is going to be about the pork sliders. They're going to be pulled pork sliders. You can use chicken, turkey, beef. The process is the same, okay? So this video is going to be about the pulled pork sliders. The next one will be up in a couple of days. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so I have rinsed this pork. This is about four and a half pounds. Um, I rinsed it with cold water and some vinegar. I got a little water at the bottom of here. So I was, I have a video of one on the grill and I'll link that in the description box. I have this in just an aluminum pan and I got it sitting on a cookie sheet. Um, it's going to bake in the oven on 3.75 for a few hours. I'm not going to put any seasoning on it or anything because obviously it's not even, you know, it will get seasoned and it will taste good, I promise. So I'm going to put it in there and then I'll come back and show you. I'm gonna cover it with some aluminum foil and I'll show you. You can obviously put this in a crock pot, absolutely, but I don't wanna do that today. But I'm gonna show you how to do everything else and I'll be back. All right, so a few hours in, it's coming in and out, but it's just not there. A few more, a couple more hours. And it will, see over here is more tender than over here. Oh, the outside, but right in here, needs some more time. So, we're going to let it go. It's about one something. And we're going to let it go. All right. As you can see, when I picked it up to drain the pan, it broke all up so that's a good sign okay so I'm gonna do as I lift this fat cap off okay. and I'll just make sure to get all that extra fat off of there If you don't want to take it off, you don't have to, but I do. Okay, so I got it shredded. You don't have to pull it apart. You just do it with your hand if you want. It's not, as long as it's cooked, it doesn't take much effort. So this is the bone. All right, so now I'm gonna season it. I'll take some salt. Some garlic powder. Onion powder. Some crushed red pepper. Some paprika. My voice is going out again. Black pepper. Some brown sugar. And some um, apple cider vinegar. You could do this with chicken or beef, turkey. You could take some turkey breast or some chicken breast and do the same thing. Roast it in the oven. Or 
or on the grill. Or in a smoker, however you want to do it. So now I'm going to taste it. It's good, very seasoned. Very good. All right. And then you can put in whatever barbecue sauce you want. So. I'm using Carolina Sweet. You can use, you can make your own or buy whatever one you like. And this is the brand that I use. Alright, so all that's left to do is to assemble the slider. So I'll be back when I'm doing that. Okay, so now y'all know I like to toast the bun. So now I have just some little small rolls for the sliders. I'm just going to cut one whole side of the pack at one time with a knife, with a serrated knife. Um, and then butter them and put them in the pan until they're brown. So here I have put them in a pan with some butter and um, they're browning up nicely. You don't have to do this, but I just right, like to so do this. So now we're gonna do the pork. I'm not gonna put mayo on the pork because we're gonna top it with the coleslaw. There we go. I'm going to take this and there it is. These are two different sliders you can serve at your Super Bowl party. They don't take a whole lot of effort. And like I said, you can do, you don't have to do pork. You can do chicken. You can do turkey you know just um you can season those you can inject those put them in the oven and let them go put them on the grill then shred them and do it the same way i did this yep so that is it y'all thank y'all so much for watching um I have some more videos coming for Super Bowl. Obviously, you don't have to wait till the Super Bowl to do this. But I just wanted to give y'all a few ideas. Because I know sometimes we get tired of doing the same thing over and over. But here's a few things that you can do. And I'll be back another day with more ideas. So thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.